Hello, 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 and welcome back to another um, week, another um, day, another Sunday of Let Us Worship. Um, I just want to take the opportunity of thanking you all for tuning in from all different parts of the world. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. I'm sorry for the late start due to some technical difficulties but we are back we are ready with the undiluted word of god and with some worship praise and worship um i want to take the opportunity to give god thanks for his glory for our lives and including our family and friends we ought not to take a life for granted especially especially in trying times like these such as the global pandem pandemic we're currently facing um brothers and sisters i want to thank God for blessing me with yet another year as I celebrated my birthday a few days ago. I just want to use this platform to say to everyone, thank you for all those greetings. I'm truly humbled to have come this far and I want to encourage each one of you to count each living day as a blessing. Count it all joy and in everything give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ for he is good, his love endures forever. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful. Devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful unto Almighty God. Before we get into um, the word and into worship, let us bow our heads and let's offer prayer unto God. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this afternoon and we acknowledge that you are Lord Almighty. We exalt your name above all names. Your way is perfect for you are the way, the truth and the life. We ask you to cleanse us of all unrighteousness for you are just and fair to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We ask that you forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, Father God but deliver us from evil. Father, we thank you for your unprecedented grace, love, and mercy. We commit our lives to you and ask that you continue to order our steps. Let your Holy Spirit continue to endure us with power from an eye and to profit with all. Father, let, I let no corrupt communication proceed out of my mouth, but that which is good to edifying, that it may minister grace to the era. Give me utterance, Lord, as I deliver your word today. I ask that the Holy Spirit give me utterance throughout this service. I pray that people watching will receive revelations, deliverance, chains will be broken, dry bones will come alive, spiritual eyes will be opened, victory will be theirs and spiritual ears will be sharpened in Jesus name. Father, I ask all this in the name of Jesus and believe it is done for your word says in Matthew chapter 7 that we should ask and we shall receive. We should seek and we will find. We should knock and the door will be open unto us. We thank you for your presence right here, Father God, because you said in your words, where two or three are gathered in your name, touching anything concern you, God, you're in the midst. And we know that you are in the midst right now. And we give a thanks in no other name, but in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can, we, can I get some worshipers who are watching right now to worship with me? Because God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He is Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. Hallelujah. 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 Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're altogether lovely, altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to me. Here I am to worship, here I am 
to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, then the glory, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, then the glory, revive us again, hallelujah, then the glory, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, then the glory, revive us again, hallelujah, 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 for you, I am praying, for you, I am praying, for you, I am praying, I am praying for you. What more do you want him to do? Hallelujah, just to prove that he loves you. Yes, it do. Jesus died on the cross to save, to save us all. One more do you want him to do? Hallelujah. One more do you want him to do? Come and worship with me just to prove that he loves you. Yes, it do. Jesus died on the cross to save, to save us all. One more do you want him to do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What more do you want God to do for you today? If you have your Bible, turn with me to, Matthew, to Exodus chapter 12. And we're going to read from verses 1 to verse 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. God is worthy. And the Bible says, And the Lord speak unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. He shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And he shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assemble of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take of the blood and strike it unto the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat. And they shall eat the flesh in, in that night, 
roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sudden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the prudence thereof. And he shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning he shall burn with fire. Verse 11, And thus shall he eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and he shall eat in it, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's passed over. Hallelujah. Praise be to God Almighty. This afternoon, I want to speak to you on the topic. It's a new season. It's a new season. Wherever you are this afternoon, this morning, this evening, I want you to turn to yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Or turn to your husband, your wife, your children, your family, or your friends and say to them, prophesy, it is a new dawn. The songwriter said, it is, it's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing is coming my way. A season of power. And of prosperity, it's a new season, it's coming to you, hallelujah, <coughs> it's a new season, hallelujah, it's a new day, a fresh anointing, it's coming my way, it's a season of power, and the prosperity, yeah. it's a new season, it's coming to you. It's a new season. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 43 and verse 16 to 19 that it is a new season. The Bible is filled with instances of new beginnings. Just after the time of creation, God identifies seasons of new beginnings. Genesis 8 and verse 22 says, As long as the earth endures seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. After the flood, God set a rainbow in the sky to show that is given a new season. The establishment of Passover was a new beginning. Exodus 12 and verse 2 says that this month shall be your beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. A new start for Israel after the slavery of Egypt. Brothers and sisters, when the children of Israel cross over the Jordan River into the land of Canaan. God told them that they had not passed this way before. He gave them a new beginning. David sinned and repented and God gave him a new beginning. Jesus established a new covenant which was an opportunity for a new beginning. Brothers and sisters, when we look at Peter, Peter sinned and repented, and God gave him a new beginning. The children of Israel experienced a new beginning. They experienced a new dawn when they left Egypt in circumstances that only God could have made possible. If the Lord could give a new dawn to a nation of slaves, I know that you will also experience a new dawn this season in Jesus name. The Lord told Moses and Aaron that the month at their exodus from Egypt would be the beginning of months to them. In other words, it would become the first month of a new year to them. A month where they will step into an open heaven. 
Hallelujah. I announce to you this afternoon, brothers and sisters, it is a new dawn and you have just stepped into your open heaven. Can I prophesy to somebody this afternoon? I don't care what is going on in your life. I don't care what's going on around us globally. I want to challenge and I want to subject to somebody that despite your circumstances that you are faced with, I am here as an oracle, as an instrument, as a mouthpiece of God to speak into your spirit that today it is a new day for you and you are, you are getting ready to walk in and to step in and to jump in into your open, open heaven. I don't care how hot the battle may seem. Even if you have to creep, you're going to creep. But this afternoon, this moment, you are about to step into an open heaven. All that is required of you is to keep to the precepts of God's word. And don't ever let it cross your mind to go back to Egypt of sin again. Hallelujah. After declaring a new dawn for the Israelites, God dealt with the enemies that held them bound. So much so that their king called for Moses and Aaron in the middle of the night. Begging them to lead the Israelites out of his hand out of the land these were the same people brothers and sisters he had held captive hallelujah for ages the bible says in psalm 126 and verse 1 when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream when the lord brings you to a new dawn uh, and causes you to walk in and causes you to step in to jump in to run in to dive in to swim in to creep in your open heaven even your neighbors your very haters your gossipers your backbiters your evil doers may not easily recognize you because your level would have changed drastically your features would have changed your walk would change your talk would change your anointing your prior life would have changed drastically why because you have just walked into your open heaven can you believe brothers and sisters that pharaoh even asked moses to pray for him almighty god of daniel i decree into your life today by the time the lord accomplishes what he intend to do for you in your life in your family life in your jobs your finances your health your enemies will become begging for prayers some will come running come some will be chasing some will be ringing off your cell phones seeking for help why because god is getting ready to give you a new dawn i feel a shift in this house this afternoon exodus 3 and verse 1 to 12 one day unexpectedly unexpectedly the heaven opened and god came down in a ball of fire onto a particular bush at a place where moses was looking after the flock of jethro his father-in-law at the backside of a desert and brothers and sisters, the Bible tells us that 40 years before Moses was prince in Egypt, but, but, but for 40 years now, he had been a fugitive. By now, he was forgotten. Uh, glory be to God. Forgotten by Pharaoh. Forgotten uh, by all his friends. In fact, uh, many of his friends were already dead. Uh, very few people knew his name now. But then the heaven opened for him. Uh, glory be to God. Am I talking to somebody that is afternoon i don't care how, how, how busy it may seem i don't care your circumstances everything around you may seem dead but glory be to god and you seem as if you are not being recognized in the name of jesus you probably take on the phone to call someone and you cannot get them because you need prayer because you need a word of encouragement but can i tell somebody that if you hold on to the unchanging hands of almighty god god is getting ready here to propel you is getting ready to shift you to another level oh glory be to god because when you do it oh glory be to god don't your very neighbors who did not recognize you will gonna recognize you oh glory be to god because there is an open heaven open heaven that is about to release unto you oh glory be to god you need to say to someone this afternoon don't bury me just yet 
it. I'm just on the ups, rough side of the mountain. I'm coming up to the mountain top. I'm getting ready to hatch. I'm getting ready to give birth. My eggs is about to crack. Glory be to God. God is getting ready to do exceedingly and abundantly in someone's life this afternoon. The very first thing that will happen when heaven open is that the forgotten will be remembered. That is why I am confident that God is going to remember somebody today. God remembered Israel. He remembered his promise to Abraham that he told Abraham in Genesis chapter 15 verse 13 to 14. God had said to Abraham, know of a surety that your seed shall serve in a strange land for 400 years and then they will be severely afflicted but when they come out they will come out with great treasure some of brothers and sisters i believe that the time for some of us to come out with great treasures has arrived um you have been afflicted too much you have been persecuted too much you have been through hell and back too much you have been gossiped about you have been lied about you have been drained and mocked about you have lost your marriage you have lost your job you have lost your finances but there is an open heaven that has just been open and you have just walked in it you you better praise your way through it. You may not see the blessing, but you better praise your way through it. Because God is saying that this is a new dawn. Brothers and sisters, God remembered Israel. And he also remembered Moses. You see, whenever God remembers somebody, something special always happens. When he remembered Rachel in Genesis 30 and verse 22 to 24, the Bible said her womb was shot before, but God remembered and Joseph was born. Ah, glory be to God. We serve a God who made the impossible possible. That the, um, there's, a, there's, there's someone, a friend of mine, who always says her scripture, favorite scripture verse is that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And if you believe that you serve a God who made the impossible possible, I don't care what you may be faced with right now. I'm telling you as a messenger sent by God that God is getting ready to do a shift and a transition in your life. That is why I believe that all those who are barren here today and who have been watching, God is going to give and God is going to remember you in this very hour. And when he remembers you, he will open your womb and special children will be born. When God remembered Israel, you know the story in 1 Kings 17, because Israel sinned against God because they were following a king who led them to idol worship. The man of God came and said, Shut the heavens, and the heavens were shut. No rain, no dew for more than three years. And then all of a sudden, God said in 1 Kings 18, verse 14 to 15, God said, man of God, my people have suffered enough. I know you shut the heavens, and you are not thinking of opening it yet, but it is time. I want to open the heaven. I am saying to somebody this afternoon that God is saying it is time. You have been waiting and you have been praying and you've been seeking God for that which you've been praying for. And God is saying to you today that it is time. I am coming to give you a visitation. I am coming to visit you and open the heaven. And pour out your blessing. May God remember you today because it's going to rain. May God remember you today because an open heaven is about to take over your resident. Oh, glory be to God. I pray that God will remember you at this very hour. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. God showed now a rainbow sign. No more water, but fire next time. I am declaring in the atmosphere today that it's going to rain because the heaven has now been open and you're standing under it. Brothers and sisters, Moses says, Lord, who am I to go against Pharaoh? I only have a stick in my hand. And God says, I will be with you. If God be for us, who can be against us? So finally, my brothers, God said to Moses, 
Don't give, don't, don't argue with me. I've already made up my mind. It is time for you to cross over to your destiny. The time to cross over to your destiny has come. It is time, it is time for you to cross over. Do not sit there and murmur because God is getting ready to do exceedingly and abundantly above everything that you could ever ask or imagine or think because it is a new season. I know brothers and sisters, we're going through a, a, a crisis moment and a trying time. And we may be questioning and asking God, where are you? And we've been praying and seeking God and probably we haven't been getting an answer. But God is saying that. But God is saying today to tell you that rest in me because I am going to give you a new season. I'm going to give you a new dawn because it is a new dawn. Today is a new dawn. It is a new season, brothers and sisters. Don't sit there murmuring and pondering and worrying your head on or, or get depressed or stressed. I'm here to tell somebody that it is a new season. It is a new dawn. And God is getting ready to exalt you. He's getting ready to position you into greater heights and deeper depths in him. God knows the abilities of our hearts. He knows the limitation and the weakness and the strength within us. He knows us before we were even born in our mother's womb. Regardless of your disposition or your current situation, you have been appointed by God. And it is time, this is the hour, this is the time, this is a season where God is getting ready to give you an open heaven. You may be sitting here and watching this broadcast and you're wondering, Marvin, what is going on? I've been seeking God and praying to God a long time for that which I've been praying and seeking God for. But I want to encourage you this afternoon that God is getting ready to visit you. He's getting ready to exalt you, to establish you and to lift you up. Jesus is going to give you a visitation. At this very hour, I just want wherever you are, you just worship with me. Because it's a new season. It's a new day. Hallelujah. A fresh anointing is coming my way. It's a season of power and of prosperity. It's a new season. It's coming to me. Everybody sing. It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing. It's coming my way. It's a season of power. And of prosperity. It's a new season. It's coming to me. It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing, Lord. It's coming my way. It's a season of power. And of prosperity. It's a new season. It's coming to me. Hallelujah. So it's a new season. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because when Lazarus was dead. The Bible said that Lazarus was dead to the point that he, his body smells. And God could have come, Jesus could have come to Martha's rescue. But I believe God was doing or showing us who are here today that listen, once God promised us something and once he said, you know what Marvin, it's going to be a new season, it's going to be a new dawn. What he wants us to do is to trust him 
and lead not unto our own understanding, but in all our, our ways, we, will, we should always acknowledge him and he will direct our path. And so that's why the song says, even if he's four days late, he's still on time because he's an on-time God. So the news came to Jesus. Please come fast. Lazarus is sick and without your help, he will not last. Mary and Martha, watch their brother died the waited for jesus he did not come and they wondered why the death watch was over buried for days somebody said he'll soon be here the Lord's on his way. And Martha ran to him. And then she cried. Lord, if you had been here, you could have healed him. He would still be alive. But he on four days late. And all hope is gone. Lord, we don't understand why you've waited so long. But his way is God's way, not yours or mine. And isn't it great when he's four days late and he's still on time? And isn't it great when Jesus is four days late and he's still on time? Why am I saying this? Why am I singing and encouraging you with this song? That even if God is four days late, he's still on time. Because whatever you're going through this afternoon, I'm here to remind you that God said that it's going to be a new dawn. And if God said it, all I need to do is to just give him praise. I, all I need to do is to worship him. All I need to do is to trust God. In the process, in my circumstances, I'm going to trust him. I'm going to wait on him because the Bible says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen my heart. If he says that it's going to be a new dawn, it's going to be a new season, I'm going to trust him. And sometimes the problem, the reason why we can't experience our new dawn is because we murmur too much. The reason why some of us cannot experience a new dawn or an open heaven is because we stress too much. We depress ourselves too much. Our glory be to God. We seek other, other way out rather than waiting on the new dawn. If God says it, it shall surely come to pass because the Bible says that our Lord is not slack concerning his promises. Whatever he says he will do it. If he promise you a house, he's going to give to you a house. Oh glory be to God. It may not come when you want it, but it will be on time. Why? Because God promises that it will be it will be done. If he says it's going to be done, it's going to be done. The Bible says, the songwriter says look to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help Help comes from God who made heaven and earth. If he said it's going to be a new dawn, it's going to be a new dawn. It doesn't matter. Oh, glory be to God. That's going on around you. It doesn't matter what you've been facing. It doesn't matter your circumstances. It doesn't matter if you're sick. The doctor may have just diagnosed that you have cancer. Oh, glory be to God. I don't care. Oh, glory be to God. What the doctor says, what God says matters. If God says that I'm going to give you a new dawn, oh, glory be to God. In the new dawn, there must be healing. There will be deliverance. There will be victory. Oh, glory be to God. After this, brothers and sisters, after this, after all that I've been going through, after all this, after all this, 
God says that he's going to give me a new dawn. He's going to give me a new dawn after this. <coughs> Jesus, in the Bible, Jesus was led into the wilderness and he was tempted of the devil after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights. One would have expected the devil to be scared of someone who fasted as in, and is on fire of the, of the Holy Spirit. What has the devil stolen from you? Whatever the enemy has stolen or robbed you of, it could be your health, it could be your joy, it could be your peace, it could be your marital bliss, it could be your children, it could be your spouse, your talents, your breakthrough, your energy, your exam results, your opportunities, your destiny, whatever the enemy has robbed from you, God is saying that this is your season, it is a new dawn, and into your new dawn, I'm going to replenish you, I'm going to give back unto you that which you have lost that which the enemy has robbed you of I am going to give it back to you in this new dawn God said that he's going to give it unto you do not worry brothers and sisters it is yours it is a new dawn hallelujah it is a new dawn it's a new dawn it's a new dawn hallelujah and I just want to encourage someone this afternoon to just press your way through your circumstances. If God said it's going to be a new dawn, it's going to be a new season, you just got to press your way through it. Despite your challenges, despite the circumstances, despite everything that you've been faced with right now, just press your way through it. Press your way through it because it's a new dawn. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining, gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bow. Lord, plant my feet on your ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on Cain, on Cain's land. I, 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 than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on your ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on stable stand a higher plan than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on a want to leave above the world though Satan's dart at me are hurled for faith has caught the joyful sound the song of saints on a ground Lord lift me up and let me stand by faith on care and stay but a Found Lord, plan 
plant my feet on higher, on higher ground. So as the song says, the Lord plant my feet. <coughs> because in this season, in this season that God is going to bring to you a new dawn. We have to ask God to cause us that our feet will remain stable. Because in, in, when, when you're going to experience a new season, there are going to be certain things, so many things that are going to be set to you, so many things that are going to come at you, so many darts from the plans of the enemy that's going to come and try to detour you, to deter you from where you are going, from looking onto the price, from looking onto the hills, from experiencing that new dawn that is about to come. And so we have to ask God to keep our feet planted and let it stand on faith, on faith and by faith in the name of Jesus and press our way upward. Look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you're with me in Radio Land, I just want you to worship God with me because it's a new dawn. Uh, glory be to God. This is a moment where in, 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 in when God said something, you just got to rejoice. You just got to just praise God. Sometimes you may not see it. You may not have words to pray. You may not have words, you know, to give God adoration to, but you just got to praise your way through. Sometimes all it takes is a broken, a contrite heart to praise your way through the bible says sing unto the lord a new song sing unto him with sounding cymbals clap your hands praise god open up your mouth and give god praise hallelujah hallelujah at this time those who are in studio with me I'm going to ask them to join me and we are going to pray a time of prayer for everyone who is watching and listening right now hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. And so I'm going to ask persons who are in the studio, my team, to come and they're going to pray God's blessing upon you. Those who are watching a new dawn, um, come on sis, a new dawn in the name of Jesus. We just give God praise. We just give him praise. We just give him praise. We, we honor him. We glorify him. This is a new dawn. This is a new dawn. Everybody, this is a new dawn. And God is getting ready to do exceedingly and abundantly and above everything that you could ever ask or imagine in the name of Jesus. Rabba Koshotobo Sata in the name of Jesus. We pray for your people right now in Radio Land in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus that those who are watching right now in the name of Jesus as you have uh, oh God given me the opportunity right now. Oh God and I'm going by the Spirit. Oh God I'm going by the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for each and every individual who are watching globally right now I pray God that Lord you will give them a visitation God some of them have been they are hungry and they are thirsty in the name of Jesus they have been seeking you God for a revelation a divine blessing and in the name of Jesus we stand upon the promises of God and we decree and declare God that Lord when you visit them God they will experience new dawn in the name of Jesus I pray God for those who have been sick right now oh God those who need a healing touch I decree and declare God that by your stripes they are healed in the name of Jesus by your stripes they are delivered in the name of Jesus I pray mighty God that they will be healed I pray for those who wake up this morning and feeling sick in the name of Jesus by the power of almighty God I prophesy to their spirit right now that as they experience an open heaven God that your, your glory will be made manifested in their presence in the name of Jesus God we come against every principality we come against every powers in the name of Jesus mighty God of Daniel in the name of Jesus do it right now for your people in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Rabba Kodobo Shata in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We decree, we declare healing. We decree healing over your people in the name of Jesus. Those who are one murmuring, those who are in depression, those who are stressed right now. In the name of Jesus, I decree God. I decree by the power of Almighty God that their minds will be renewed, their minds will be transformed. In the name of Jesus. God, as they experience a new dawn, I pray, Almighty God, that everything 
everything that they seek, everything that they pray for, everything that they desire will come to manifestation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare God. In the name of Jesus. Hey, we decree and declare right now. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy to every dead bones. In the name of Jesus. Every dead spirit that, that, that is around your people right now. I lift them up in the name of Jesus. And I speak, I speak life in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of death right now. We tear them up in the name of Jesus. We cast them out in the name of Jesus. We destroy every spirit of death by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you worship. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So right now, God, as we experience that change, as we experience this new dawn and this new season in the name of Jesus, we ask, Lord, we ask, Holy Spirit, that your will be done in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, from studio into radio land. God, we ask, God, that your spirit, your Holy Spirit, will make manifest among your people right now. In the name of Jesus. I pray that the Holy Ghost will visit each person watching and listening right now I pray mighty God that you will disturb oh glory be to God every spirit that is unlike you in the name of Jesus and we cast every spirit that is unlike you into the lake of fire we destroy it by the by fire in the name of Jesus hallelujah in the name of Jesus we thank you Jesus we exalted Jesus. And so right now, as you experience a new dawn, in this new dawn, I hear the Holy Spirit says that he's going to give unto you fresh anointing. God is going to give you a fresh anointing. God is going to release unto you a fresh anointing. Hey, Jesus, that job that you've been seeking God for, that job that you have made, oh God, those applications that you have, you have sent out in the name of Jesus. You are wondering what is going to happen because of how the world is going on. But God said to remind such a one, oh, glory be to God. Do not worry because I am God. I am God and I am, I am coming to your rescue. I I am. Oh, glory be to God. I'm going to release unto you that job that you've been desiring. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory in the name of Jesus. And so right now, God, we release. We release the fire of Almighty God. We release the anointing of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Anabosha. In the name of Jesus, release unto your people right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 That individual, we break chains in the name of Jesus. We break chains in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of rejection, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of rejection, every spirit, every negative words that has been spoken over your life. God said, I'm taking it off in the name of Jesus. Every generational curse, God said that he's taking it off in the name of Jesus. He's releasing you uh, into the new dimension in this new dawn, into this new season. Glory, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, divine, divine revelation unto you. See if God in the name of Jesus. Hey. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we release, we release uh, the wind of God. We release the wind of God to locate you right now. Those who are watching this broadcast right now, I release the wind of God. I release the wind of God upon your life. It's a new dawn. It's a new dawn. 
We declare restoration. We declare healing in the name of Jesus. We declare a new anointing, fresh anointing, fresh oil. We release unto you in the name of Jesus. You better stretch your hands toward this live broadcast right now because we are releasing the fire of God. We are releasing in the name of Jesus. Your yesterday, your, 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 your today will not be like yesterday. Your next week will not be like last month in the name of Jesus. Because God is going to release unto you the blessing of Abraham in the name of Jesus. It's a new dawn. We release, we will release the fresh anointing over your life right now. And even right now, that individual who are experiencing that lump in that body and you've been feeling that lump for such a, for a good while and you've been wondering and you're scared what it is, what type of lump it, is this? Right now at the spirit of the Lord had spoken to my spirit. Oh glory be to God, you, that person who is watching right now, I pray that you will pl place your hand upon that where that lump is in the name of Jesus and we stand in agreement in the name of Jesus and as an oracle as God, of God as an instrument of God as a servant of God right now I pray I decree that by midnight tonight that lump will be removed by the power by the fire of Almighty God we will release that bump to go in the name of Jesus because it is not of God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth lump be Thou moved in the name of Jesus. Lump, be thou moved. Be thou moved. Be thou moved. Be thou moved. In the name of Jesus. Be thou moved. We remove you by the fire for mighty God. Hey, hallelujah. Because by your stripes, we're healed. Hallelujah. We just give a worship. And as we're coming down to the end of another, yet another session of let us worship. I had to join, I had to call, you know, my fiance right here to come <coughs> and help me in this prayer because as I felt led in the name of Jesus. And so as she stand beside me, I'm going to ask her to just pray. And just pray for those ladies, those, those ladies right now who are watching right now. I feel led to pray for all the ladies who are watching right now, who are watching this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Because God said that in this season, as he's about to give you an open heaven and for you to experience an open heaven, God said he's going to release unto you some fresh anointing in the name of Jesus. And as she pray, as she pray, just believe and trust God and have faith in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come before you this afternoon. We thank you, Lord, that you are Lord Almighty. Father, we exalt and honor your name. Father, for you are the Alpha yes. and the Omega, the hey, beginning Jesus. and the ending. Father, right now, Lord, we mm. ask you, Lord, we ask you that you forgive us of yes, any Lord. Thing, they Lord, shut up. any negative mm. and godly things, a spirit that have been controlling our mind. Father, we let go yes, and we God. God. Father, we let you minister. Hallelujah. Right yes. Father, purify our thoughts, yes. our minds, our ways. Yes. Father, for there is no other way but with you. Yes, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. The, the truth, truth and the light. light. For the right now, I pray and I pray the power of God. Yes. For the release the power, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Right now, yes, God. Yes, Lord. Of your word, everyone who's thirsty and hungry, yes, Lord, God, for that healing, for that restoration, Father, yes, to let that move, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, we glorify your name, yes, that we believe for your word would not go back to you void, but Father, it shall accomplish. Father, who has any issue 
whatever issue you yes, have. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. It, in the name of Jesus. God. In the name of Jesus. For yes, he is yes, Lord. Lord. Our protector, our healer. He will guide you. He yes, will yes, you. yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. All you have to do is ask and have faith. Because if you ask anything in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. So, so shall it be done. Your faith will heal you. Your faith will move you. Hallelujah. Your faith will move you into the next spiritual realm. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So right now, I declare and I decree for everyone yes, yes. that's watching right now. That Proverbs says, Yes, Lord. Woman, yes, Lord. Dwell in the word. Feed on the word. Yes, Lord. Faith, yes, God. Just dwell. Feed your spirit for the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Right now, as it's been, it's been preached, it's a new season. Yes, it's Lord. It's a new dawn. Dwell and abide in his word. Yes. Trust in his word. Have faith in his word because he will move mountains for you. He will remove yes. any situation <clears throat> right now that's stopping you from being where you're supposed to be. From stop that's stopping you from reaching yes, your destiny yes, God. in the name of Jesus. So Father, right now I declare and I decree, Father, that we believe that your words are truth and they're life. Yes. Father, I pray right now, Father, that whoever is listening and that they believe, so shall it be. Father, open their eyes. Open their ears, minister to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, for you teach us all things. You reveal all the secret places, all the secret things of the word. So, Father, right now, I thank you and I glorify your name. And I thank you for your word in the name of Jesus. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Friends and families, in closing, <clears throat> Today's let us worship. I don't know what you've been struggling with. I don't know what you are faced with. I don't know what in your life you've tried to get under control by sheer will or power and haven't been able to manage. I don't know what you've been fighting or wrestling. But I'm here to tell you and to encourage you and to sub submit to you that it is a new dawn. I don't know how long you've dealt with it. I don't, long, I don't know how long you've been fighting or going through what you've been going through. Or how many times you've, been, you've tried putting it down for another time. I don't know. But I do know that the one who is all powerful sees you, he hears you, he understands you. And he has you in the palm of his hand. And he's here to tell you that it is a new dawn. I am going to give to you an open heaven. I'm going to cause you to walk into an open heaven. Whatever you've been faced with, I, God, is getting ready to cause you to walk into an open heaven. So I want to say to you, brothers and sisters, arise from where you are. Shine from where you are. For you, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen up upon you. Stop trying to do your things yourself or your way. But look to the hills from whence cometh your help. No matter how far you've gone. It doesn't matter how far you've drifted from God. God has sent the light of a new dawn for you to follow. God is getting ready to give unto you, brothers and sisters, a new dawn, a new season, a fresh anointing. Everything that you've been asked and seeking God for, God says, yes, it is time. Now is a time that I'm going to give unto you that which you've been seeking for. And so God is saying this afternoon, it is a new dawn. Remember, if you want to reach out to us on Let Us Worship, please contact us on 07480 941 454. 
That's 074-80-941-454. And if you're calling from overseas, remember to put 11 074-80-941-454. And you can call the studio hotline on 0207-274-2699. That's 0207-274-2699. Remember, this is your boy, Minister Marvin, and this is Let Us Worship. God bless you. Walk good. Have a blessed week, and thank you all for watching. Remember to share the video, comment, like. It is a new dawn. God bless you.